Guys, Villa Sync back again with Infinite Magic Grade. Uh, my new favorite game. Just basically, just now I'm trying to wear down my stamina because playing this game for seven days now, I have not been able to fully deplete myself of stamina. And God knows I've tried. Um, what we wanted to do was just um, look into some points, maybe some tips. Yeah, I was farming stage 10 on rum because I just I was working on a reviver, a healer, so I wanted HP set and healing set. And so let's just go back to the main screen. So random things. I've got a little bit of a checklist that we can tick things off. This is this is in no specific order. But um one thing I would say is when you start the game, you're gonna be working on Specifically, one or two champions. When I started, I worked on Adonis and I worked on, I think it was Eden. I think they were the main two that I kind of worked on. Any more than that, because it's very early, like the content is slightly easier. I feel like it's kind of a, a waste on resources and you are quite, um, I mean, I say work on, obviously, like, get to their max level and work on their skills and give them like their max level equipment and so forth. <clears throat> you can't obviously take other champions to like their max level too, but uh, you don't need to work on too, too much. But with the working on one or two champions thing, when you awaken them, Adonis is level three awakened at the moment. And what I'm going to do is, I think I'm going to make some other champions one star awakened, and that's it, because when I awaken Adonis, or I keep calling it Adonis, it's Asindo, I need five five star champions, I need to craft that much, and then that makes her four star. I think it's six or seven champions to get to five star, so when you start off, you're going to have your damage dealers that are going to take you through most of the content. Work on a few of them when you finally get to your awaken phase. Take one to five stars. It would take, I think it would take way too long to try to do like your whole team. Work on certain individual champions at one time. You know, you'll do way better. Next up is the market. The market is a fantastic, fantastic thing. So arena store and battle store, you're really probably not going to have much that you can do from here or, or get from here early on but currency store is the like the 17 million silver i had like 29 earlier on but i was working on a few champions to like protection revival champions but the currency store is good because you're going to get these one and two star champions which are really good for crafting because you're you constantly need there's a constant need for having your two stars become three stars, three stars become four stars. So you can have like that chickens and they're really, really respectively priced quite cheap as well. Another thing to purchase, which is great value, is the refined rune shard, which means you can get more wishes. As you can see, I've bought all of them and the champions available. I sometimes even purchase the advanced hero XP potions in luxury. Hero you know, experience potions now and again, it just kind of varies on uh, what I'm looking to do. But you can't refresh the market, so let's get a free refresh now. Uh, you can refresh it up till it goes far, let's see if it goes 5, 10, 15. But um, you could refresh it several times if you chose to, and you never know really what you're going to get. So, like the warrior. Smith and them. I'm probably going to come back and servant and purchase them. That's probably the four star dragon egg, isn't that bad either? Just uh, let your diamonds build up. I had like 5,000 or so uh, before I did some miracle wishes. And next up, we have dispatch, which is probably one of the things that you should constantly do, even if you're not playing the game. Log in just so you can collect all these resources. That you do nothing for apart from put out certain champions that meet certain requirements and 
then you get rewards for free basically that's what it is and the more you level up the more that you're going to increase your rewards uh, and this shows your levels and then you can go up i'm not sure what the mass level is but i'm level six at the moment so this shows you kind of the type of rewards that i'm going to get and the percentages that come along with it but the dispatch is probably one of the best aspects of this game for free rewards that are easy that are very vo valuable the items you get from dispatch will help you more than you know you're going to get your rune shards you're going to get your potions you're going to get silver you're going to get just fantastic fantastic rewards that will help you no matter what you're doing so next up when i'm talking about crafting so always craft your champions so when we mean craft we take a one star champion and we do that and we make that a two star champion which means we can take that two star champion and make them a three star champion and basically what that does is it enables us to awaken as we spoke of earlier so if i was to awaken for instance a Sindo, five five star champions are required and then she goes to level 140 our hp goes up or she gets a stat increase but that's why you should be looking at the market and constantly just trying to get those type of champions because your one stars become two stars Two stars become three stars, uh, and so forth. Four stars become five stars, and they're quite invaluable. So always, and especially if you get champion training events, the events in this banners, heroes, gifts, brave trail competition, classic arena, miracle wish goals, hero training, beginner hero guys. This is all things starting soon. This game does not slack on events. And rewards so not only does it craft and help you in game but it also helps you as far as getting rewards from events which they're constantly constantly doing new events so it's really it's fantastic so upgrade talent all to level 10 and then progress so let's just take a look at talent for a second i haven't done class talent yet but mark talent what you're looking to do is you're looking to start with a the red then go to blue then go to green then go to force all right so what we can do is i need 25 to make that upgradable but if you tap here it says reach 40 talent points in the previous level to unlock so what you ideally what you want to do is you want to take all of these 10 and then you want to go to there afterwards and then make them 10 and make them 10 and then so forth i have different ones for them ones for them i did some blue so if you go for instance you try to make all these level ones 30 it's just kind of a waste it's pointless you need 40 to progress to level 2 so we'll take all of these to level 10 go to level 2 put them to level 10 go to level 3 i put them to level 10, something that I will be doing very, very soon. It's like a work in progress. I've been doing different dungeons to give me gear for certain champions and I get certain artifacts and whatnot. Um, but we'll get to that at some point. Now I've got a list here, so we're going to just start ticking stuff off. I may blab for a while, but it is what it is. So a guild, create or join a guild. I created a guild. Feel free to join it. It's just a, it's a guild effectively just for like zero requirements. There is the thing you have to do. It doesn't matter what level you are. Um, and you, you're you going to yield rewards from it. So you can get your activeness rewards. You can get guild arena. I believe once you get X amount of people and whatnot. Um, but yeah, it also gives you the guild boss, which we'll take a look at relatively soon which again gives you fantastic rewards uh, and they don't have to be on the same server as people they want to recruit i mean i might i may join a guild at some point but making some content i'll open the guild and it's just it's there for anybody that wants to use it it's completely fine it's a 
come as you may. Now, we do have Arena in this game as well, PvP, but I wouldn't worry about um, PvP too early. It is quite good to go in uh, and do a couple of fights, but you'd, you'd be looking to progress as quick as you... Uh, as quick and as far as you can with regards to your campaign. You want to unlock common fully. Uh, and you also get like little missions and chapters that will... Oh, it's kind of like a, if you do chapter, if you do the first thing a campaign, you've then got to do like little side missions to unlock the next one. It's quite cool. So let's just kill these champions. Because the... The arena is good. Just pick your fights wisely. Um, don't necessarily don't come in to lose. Look at the power they have and the power you have. You did get rewards from this, but very earlier on. It's not something realistically um you should focus on unless it's unless you're just that type of person that's very much inclined to uh, work on the PV. P aspect of your game, but uh, you should be worried about your world map and your campaign. Now, you have daily quests as well. Make sure you do your daily quest, and you got all these chests along the bottom, and you get some fun, some awesome rewards, which obtain campaign auto drop rewards two times. It's easy, it's free, complete three dispatch quests you should be doing your dispatches anyway send your friend a refined rune shard one time i'll show you that in a minute make a wish we'll get to that dungeons that's what i was doing when this video started but we're going to go to dungeons you can enhance level your gear upgrade champions to three arena fights purchase stuff in the market and all these other ones you will accumulate over time by the collection of heroes uh, depending on how far you get in like a campaign and stuff, all these points that you can, you can accumulate, they all go towards rewards as well. So if we were to tap on this, see that? Free. Boop. Perfect. And that's it. That's one of your missions. You can then, if we move this timer down a little bit, go here, uh, claim and send. You're going to send your teammates rewards. Uh, you can also have rewards sent back to you, which is extremely cool. But try to do your dailies, and you will it'll benefit you. You're getting to a routine of getting those rewards now. Hero regression now. Hero regression is if, for instance, let's just say a Sindo. I I had like a, a mythic champion, which I'll show you soon. And I wanted to work on that Mythic Champion because she's a great damage carry, she's got a lot more potential or whatever. What I would do is I would use a, uh, a Hero Regression Potion. It's weird how it says I have none there because I've not used any, which is very interesting. But they cost you, they will cost you a thousand, um, a thousand, um, the clear two ten under normal. So two potions. So that is your two free potions. Get for free. After you use these, they cost you a thousand green diamonds. Afterwards, so be careful. But let's say Eden Ascendo. Let's say space. I wanted to get all of my resources back from them. All the experience, or the potions, or the chickens, or the eggs. You use your potions, you take them back to their base of what they were, like their base level. All of your items that you used will be given back to you. And then you can then go on to upgrade a new champion in it. It's quite a nice feature, but be very much careful with it. Um, because you it will cost you a thousand uh, diamonds. I used most of mine for miracle summings. <coughs> If you do get a fantastic champion and you know that it's the right thing to do, do it otherwise. Keep a hold of your potions. Do not waste them. Be very careful with them. So the we were purchasing... Let's go here for a second. The Refined Wish. This blue shard. Buy them where you can find them. So if you're in the market, buy them. Wherever you can get them. You get them from dispatch as well. You get them from like certain daily 
you get them from certain quests and challenges and events and stuff make sure you're collecting them because they're really cool and they can tie back into crafting your champions um, because you're constantly there is a need for these champions same with excellent wishes you get them as free rewards and a lot of things collect them up supreme wish and the miracle wish is for this current event we've got going on i've pulled about a hundred i haven't necessarily gotten that far but if you see purchase uh refined rune shards in in the market the same place as you get the the champions here like the warrior servants make sure you're purchasing them because they're very very handy so events, they are always active. This game is not shy for events. Bloody hell. So we've got this one here. We've got the Brave Trail competition, which I've got to go back and do more on. Classic arena competition, Miracle Wish Goals. I've pulled a shitload so far to the point I'm still rank one. And I'm not sure I'm done yet because it would be quite good to get one. Let's go back and press it. Hero training goals. I haven't done that much. I have four, seven, three, <coughs> three, five. My event ranking. I'm like third, which is not the worst. It's not fantastic either. Um, but yeah, it's good because all that rewards you see alongside my name, I'm going to get in settlement. We're gonna hero rewards and look at this protect sword harbor. It's not open yet. In one hundred percent increase of auto drop rewards. So when you hit tap that chest and you get your free rewards, they're going to be doubled. You got ice skating, whatever this is, challenge Nedja, it's probably going to be an increase in rewards of some kind. Equipment and artifact goals, so you're leveling gear. Enhancement goals. See, so always look out for these because they carry a massive, massive, massive amount of rewards that you really don't want to miss. There's always ones active. Now we went over the awakened thing, so obviously if you have one star awakened champions, if you didn't it to a few, that's fine. But don't do one two star, then the other one two star, the other one two star. Don't do like your whole team at the same time, it's, it would take way longer. I don't think it's really necessary. Uh, and before the kid comes down, we may have to continue this after. I'm not sure if I hear him coming, but we've got dungeons. So the brave trail is you get different levels and you make your way through i never knew that if you die the champions that get killed cannot then be used which kind of got me quite stumped and we've got a dragon cliff which uh you have to do x amount of times for rewards space temple dwarf ruins guild boss faction emblem and tower mark but the dick is coming back. We will continue dungeons and this tips later on, guys, because there's a bit more to go through. Download it, give it a bash, and I'll see you soon.